It's time for another Cool Tools review. This time around, I'm gonna show you a pair of flush cutters for electronics. These are just $5 on Amazon. They're made by Hacko. I use them all the time. They are one of my favorite tools. For more years than I care to admit, I would cut and trim wires and circuit leads using these generic wire cutters. They'd get the job done, but because the blades are somewhat recessed, you could never trim things completely flat. For that, you need flush cutters, and it's a subtle distinction, but these are so much more satisfying when you're cleaning up the bits of wire on a project. Because the cutting edge is moved all the way out front, you can take that cut right down to the board if you want. And here's a quick tip. I learned this from watching Sar Drimmer from Boldport solder up his beautiful projects. Typically, when you solder a connection together on a through-hole circuit board like this, you get what looks like a little mountain of solder. Then you can come back through and trim it down, and maybe you get something like this, and it's tidy and it gets the job done. But these days, with project boards that are almost works of art in themselves, here's a technique for making solder joints that are prettier and smoother to touch. Take that same joint you just made and use flush cutters like these $5 hackos to trim the joint right down to the board. Then come back around with your soldering iron, reheat the connection very quickly, and hit it with just a touch of solder. It takes some practice, but if you get it right, you get a perfect little dome. Something about the surface tension of the new solder and the lack of any central element poking through makes this happen. And when you apply this technique over an entire board, it almost looks like it's been put together with little rivets. It's a nice look and it's smooth to touch. You can clean up the extra flux with a swab of isopropyl alcohol and you've got a board worth showing off. You don't need any special soldering iron or solder to make this technique work, but you really do need the flush cutters to get up right against the board. I've got a link to these exact ones in the description. And remember, you can see thousands of reader-recommended tools just like this at cool-tools.org.